Rashad Milligan rolling out. That's a good question. Okay, yeah, Rashad. <laughs> I can start. Um, Becky, congrats on the win. Uh, I wanted to know what was the reason for sit ups. So you listed it as a rest. What did you see where you thought you needed to rest Jackie tonight and getting a performance like this from Tiff in her replacement? How important are performances like this going to be from the others as we go down the stretch here? I mean, for Jackie, it was, she wanted to play, I wouldn't let her, um, because sometimes these athletes, you have to help save them from themselves at times, and I know she had some aches and pains, and uh, I just thought the rest, because she really didn't get any, you know, over the break, and then when you come back already kind of dinged up a little bit, it starts to to compound, um, so I made the executive decision to, to sit her. She's not happy. She's still not happy with me, uh, but that's all right. We'll get through. And um, there just isn't another time to get her rest. So I felt like this was the only time where, you know, we get the two days after Dallas. She gets today and she's going to get tomorrow um, to try to get some of her burst back. Um, she's hurting. And I just said, sit. That's all that was. Uh, two for you, if I can. Headed into this game, you were asked about the possibility of clinching a playoff berth, and you were like, I do not care. We just need to focus on the game. Does that perspective change at all now that it's done and out of the way? Is there any situation where you care about the standings? I mean, not really. I mean, we have been better on the road than we have at home. I mean, if you want to like, keep it positive. Uh, I mean, I feel just like our... our we have so much better basketball in front of us. And so a, we have to pull and grind and execute. And, you know, it's it's been a climb this year. Like I told them, y'all want to get on the mountaintop, but there's no chairlift. You got to climb. And so when we are taking steps, and, and to me, it's about, it's it's not so much about the losses. It's can, can we learn from them and do better? And we have to have carryover when there's correction. So, um, I mean, great, we're in the playoffs, great, but I don't care. I care about Phoenix, next. And then uh, secondly, Chelsea Grant, after the Wings uh, game, you kind of talked about Chelsea's confidence increasing a lot today. We saw some crazy stuff, like there was almost a generational, like behind the back pass. How do you- And then a smoked lip, I'm gonna get Sid for that all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get her. But I guess, how have you kind of seen that grown and what's that process like coaching her through this return as it stands now? Look, I think she's doing great. Um, at the end of the day, it's never been her athleticism. It's been her mind and her eyes for the game and her feel for the game, her energy and joy for her teammates. Um, and tonight, you know, she didn't shoot very well, but she had timely ones. She hit big ones. And so that's kind of, that's why you roll with her right? Like she maybe missed, I think she was over going into, and then finally hit a shot and then hits a big one, um, uh, one at a time that we needed one. So that's really who she is. She likes those moments. We've all been witness to it. And it's just nice to see her getting back to, you know, that confident and, and able to execute and able to jump and all those things that you need to do to play basketball. She, she's, she's doing great. When you consider, you know, Surgery. She's not even a year out of surgery, not even close. So she's doing wonderful. Coach, as we were walking down the hall, we wondered if Asia Wilson's 25-15 five five block five. zero turnovers game had ever been done before. It's been done once by Asia Wilson <laughs> <laughs> against Atlanta on July 12th of this year when she had 33 points, 18 rebounds, five blocks, zero turnovers. So. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> That woman is something else. She's cut different. Um, the turnovers, her care for the ball amongst, not only is she in traffic all the time, she gets double and triple team. And I mean, I don't know, she had like Spider-Man hands or something. Like the ball just sticks. She don't she doesn't cough that thing up easily. And um she's just to me, since I've been a part of this league, which is 99. 
um, you know, go hiatus in the NBA for eight years, but come back to this league. I don't know if we've seen a season like she's doing right now. Uh, I don't, I mean, somebody can look up some stats, but I can't recall um, somebody who has more steals, blocks, assists, points, and rebounds than turnovers. And it's not even close. It's, it's not like, oh, she barely has a few more steals and assists or a few more uh, right, turnovers or, or a few more blocks than turn. Like, it's substantial, substantially more. Um, she's just a beautiful player to watch. Becky, too, if possible, you uh, you took a timeout early in that second quarter with the team up 29-6. To that point, Atlanta had shot 50% from the field. They shot 31% the rest of the way. Did it ever really feel like the team settled in on defense? Um, you know, we were kind of figuring that on the fly. I thought, like, what uh, we adjusted and looked at at halftime helped. Um, true to form of our opponents, they go in at halftime and get all of their players to hit the boards. And they did, and, and the offensive rebounds started to become a little bit of an issue for us again in that second half. Um, so it's just basic stuff that that we need to clean up. Um, but we were we were mixing in some defenses, which we haven't done as much of, um, because we haven't been solid in our base a lot of times. So you, unless you're really airtight in your base, um, it's hard to throw junk out there. Um, so. We were mixing things up a lot, just trying to make looks difficult, and then we got to rebound. That's, that's another problem with junk or off, you know, playing his own or doing what mixing up defenses is um, the blocking out part. Um, so uh, I still feel like we have a lot of room for growth there. Uh, super excited to see Tip have ten boards, like that's huge for our guards to get in there um, and, and give agents some help, and then you know just everybody chipping in and doing their part. It's not about who gets the rebound; it's about us getting the rebound. And then you kind of just spoke about it a second ago, but one home game over the next six outings, does that change the method or philosophy trying to build some consistency to close the season? No, like I said earlier, I mean, we've been crap at home. So we're like, we're happy to get these home wins, but the road has been better for us in ways um, than, than our normal home cooking. Um, that being said, I think it's, it's, you know, I think we're one or two, raindrops away from making a flood we just gotta kind of like get through it's like that final push through um until we start really kind of flowing and so it can seem kind of like stuck in mud at times feels that way I know it does for me and, and for them so that that dig down factor of being solid on both ends of the floor when it gets like that that's really what I'm looking for at the end of the day home away I'm, I'm looking for solid up to standard aces basketball. Uh, before we finish up in the room, let's jump to Mike Vogel. Yeah, um, Coach, you, you mentioned uh, what, what Asia is doing. I mean, you actually played against the three players who were three-time MVPs with Swoops and LJ and, and Lisa Leslie. And I just wonder, when you when you look at historically comparing, um, Asia has a chance and probably right now is, is by far the front runner of joining them as a three-time MVP what that means historically for for a player to to do something like that i mean i guess that i mean history is history right and i think um i just don't want to i felt like last year you know y'all know how i feel about last year um just crazy efficient she's been doing this for two years in a row now just crazy efficient and um it's just, I, I just don't want it to be lost on people how special this woman is. Um, and, and what she's doing, like, you may not see it. You know, you're, you're talking about three players over what is this league, you know, 27, 28 years old, three players um, in, in, in conversation for a third MVP um, and ain't even in her 30s yet. Uh, and every year that I, I've worked with her. I mean, I remember my first year uh, flew her down to um, San Antonio to get a workout. We go in, we're working out, and I'm like, wow, you can really shoot, like, like, deep. And she was like, yeah. I was like, all right, well, I never really see you shoot that. I was like, but as soon as you develop that, like, 
you're going to be unguardable because if you get that consistent, she's so fast and her second jump might be quicker than her first jump. Um, just getting off the floor, um, she just becomes a whole handful. And then, you know, come back next year. And now I'm like asking her to bring the ball up more. Like everything that I've ever asked her to do, she just goes and, and does it and makes it so e look easy. It is not easy what she's doing. She makes it look easy. And that's when you know you have a special player. Steph Curry shooting threes, he makes it look easy. That stuff is difficult that he's doing. And, and I think it's a similar just special generational talent. Thank you. Well, last question with that. Of course, a lot of fans were asking about the back of your jacket. Anything special in regards to the details in the back of your jacket? Not really. It means living or alive. <laughs> living. Um, no, I just liked it. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Becky. Thanks, Thanks Becky. Undefeated and Becky Hammond. Rashad Milligan rolling out. That's a good question. Uh, Brandon, yeah, we can't, 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 we